there are two books, but the latest one is the Boomer Book of Christmas Memories. And it is, it's absolutely true. It's all the wacky stories behind the holiday trivia that boomers remember. Things like um, the green bean casserole and aluminum trees and bubble lights and the toys. Half of it's on toys like Barbies and G.I. Joes, uh, Stingray bicycles, um, Slinkies, Silly Putty. They all have wonderful backstories behind them, so that's what I try to include here. Well, I'm a, I'm a history geek, and I kept coming across these wonderful stories about, um, you know, for example, the slinky, how um, the man who invented the slinky went through a wild and crazy phase, and then he got religion, and he started trying to include Bible tracts in the slinky boxes, and then he got tired of the whole thing and left it to his wife and took off to be a missionary in Bolivia, which is where he died. And his wife is the person who rebuilt the company after about 10 years of sliding downhill, who got the, uh, the jingle that, we, you know, what goes downstairs, da 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 da, da <laughs> that she got that song written. She ran that company till she was almost 90 years old and raised five children to boot with, <laughs> with a crazy husband who had left her. So um, the wonderful stories like this, you couldn't possibly make it up. No, it's a career. I'm a freelance writer. I, um, I've written for Patch, I've written for Boys Life, and I have a story in West Ways. So I, I love writing. That's what I want to do all, all the time. Um, I've almost finished another book. On, it's on money-saving tips called uh, Cut Expenses, Cut, Save Money Now, 99 Tips and Life Hacks to Cut Your Expenses. Uh, which, as a starving writer, I <laughs> learned by experience. Um, and I'm also working on another fictional novel. I should hold this up, too. Um, this takes place 2,000 years ago in Gaul, which is now France. Very exciting story with druids and ghosts and, all, and warriors. Uh, but I'm working on a story of the California Gold Rush now. It will be a novel. Well, I self-published. And yes, I did, because an unknown novelist uh, is is they're not throwing open the doors for you for some odd reason they they seem a little hesitant so they're looking for uh, the publishers are looking for people with names and followings and everything so uh, after over a hundred rejections I decided to which had nothing to do with the quality of the book because they never saw it um, I decided to self publish this and I had so much fun that I didn't even didn't even query on this one I just went ahead and self published.